and you still handcuffed. Monday at four. Iris is gonna be wanting to talk to us. Oh darn! I thought you were a hostage. Are you kidding me? A criminal serving a life sentence just escaped from Metro Police. I ordered everyone to keep quiet about this, but it's only a matter of time before the press sniffs this out. We need to get number 89 back before then. Oh my god. I wanna go to Susanito. So he just had Peter get him out of. Um Wait a minute. Did you let number 89 escape on purpose? Me? So that you could catch the bigger fish? No. Yeah, boss. Exactly. I was kidding. Peter, why are you like this? Like, I feel like... Uh, boss, what did you have to do? I thought you had something to do with the higher-ups. Is nothing gonna be sexual now because there is a bigger issue at hand and she... needs us to bring back... Reminds me of your ex, Dante. What? It shouldn't. Who did I date last? Who is my ex? They were kind and had a big smile. Oh, such a shame. Oh. Uh-huh. Snowboard. I want to knock you over the head with that snowboard right about now. Then allow me to say this. <laughs> I will slalom away from that attack. Not funny. What? I didn't even get that, sir. I really like chairs. Peter. They look delicious. Peter, why are you what weird? What the hell are you talking about? Why is Peter so weird? Four handcuffs. Date, Pewter. Once we're done here, let's pop that bottle. I don't know Not when that'll idea. be. But when the boss gets drunk, she has the tendency to crush balls. In that case, perhaps we should never solve this case. I but we need to solve it at some point. Okay, Pewter. Where is he? How would I know? I don't know. Maybe he told you where After he was going. After he got to the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I collapsed right there. Hmm. How did he get away? <clears throat> he punched out an officer and stole his clothes. Okay. He put on the uniform and brought me with him at gunpoint. Well, he had the gun in his pocket, uh, hiding it. So is it a fake no gun? No one on the floor even knew this was happening. He caught on the elevator and made it to the ground floor. He okay. He stole my security card. He said he'd kill me if I tried anything. And this guy. I suppose the whole escape took him about uh, five minutes. He executed his he plan. He must have planned this. Yeah. You're rather calm about all this. Do we trust Pewter? I'm coming down from being terrified for my life. I'm not even gonna let you finish that, sir. Where's my gun? Number 89 still has it. But don't worry. I have a spare. I'll give it to you later. Mm. How would I know? I don't know. You talk After to him, sir. To the exit, he let me go. I didn't see where he went. I don't know. I collapsed right there. You look pretty okay for collapsing just a bit ago. He's standing calmly. 
<clears throat> do we apologize or do we not apologize? Let's apologize. Boss, it's my fault he got away. Yeah, I'm big I'm sorry. sorry. Big sorry. Don't waste time apologizing. Go catch him. Okay. I'm I... the one who has to go on an apology tour now. I will try. I will try. <sighs> we really messed up this time. Okay, well I apologized. And we will go try and catch him. I know you are already aware of this, but there are security cameras all over this compound. So we can see if Pewter was lying. I checked all of them. Uh huh. Number 89 fled in a car that was waiting for him. Oh. So he had an accomplice. Yes. Did you see who was driving? I did. <gasps> who was it? You and I know him well. Oh. Renju? W why? I don't know. Oh, someone's calling us. Date, Moma is calling. <gasps> Moma? From the Kumakuras? No, what other Moma do we know? Where? Where? Hey, don't forget our deal. Yeah, that's fine. You'll be able to meet Iris, deal. yes. What deal? Come on, Tate. You forgot already? No. I'm talking about Tessa. Tessa, yeah, I guess you don't know her as Iris. Oh, right. I'll be waiting. Okay. Does he want us? Does he want us to bring Iris there? We have no choice. We have to take her. To Moma. Yes. So not only did we, we're supposed to take her on a date. We have to take her on a date. To one of her fans. This is not. Come on, Dante. We already rescheduled this date. Oh my god, I can't ever stop thinking that this is KK slider music. I'm going home. <sighs> Have you forgotten the vows you exchanged? We aren't married. Are drunk? No, of course not. You're she is. Drunk. What was she shooting? Yeah, I I think she is drunk, and she thinks we're playing shovel. We are not shovel forging. No, no KK slider. But I like so goes it. I was talking about the date, silly. Shovel forge and a date are synonymous, apparently. So where are we going? Where should I take her? My stools. Hooray! Hooray! I would not be able to remember that. What kind of what kind of bug is that? Oh, the receptionist is gone. I mean, it could be off hours, right? Like, if it's, like, almost five, she probably, like, booked it for the day. Finishing up some things, maybe. A slipper. Usually made of leather. That's a loafer. Try saying the bug times five times fast? No, thank you. Nothing on that monitor. Special. Catch a skyfish. Next time these magazines get replaced... I'm taking that one. Why is she just taking her own? Vending machine? Mm-hmm. Date, I've been thinking. Uh-huh. About what? I have my greeting ready. 
Greeting for you what? Asking me to say hello to the table earlier? Oh my. Do you have nothing to say? Okay, where are we taking her? Uh, a really nice place, a gangster bar to a Yakuza office building. That's kind of where we should. We should take her to a nice place, right? To where the dragon is, though. Is that Shovel Forge? Let's take her to a really nice place. A really nice place. Tom, a nice place? I wonder where. I'm excited. I feel like these all take her we we just go it didn't matter we just take her to yeah wow how rude that's not a nice place we still have that kk slide music jeez see why do they also have the kk slider music here A gang. I see. Hmm. Yeah, Iris is not happy. This isn't nice at all. Fair enough. I didn't know this was a choice. This is more like mice. Like rats. Okay, don't be rude to them. Oh, Tessa, come on now. I'm no rat. I'm a friend. I think you are a rat. Feels suspicious for a friend. I think you are a rat. Don't look at me like that, Tessa. That's no good. <laughs> okay, y'all meet. Mama, I held up my end of the deal. Where's Renju? You sure did. You want to hear about Renju? Mr. Okiura? Oh, okay, let's see. What... We know there's an A-set figure behind it. Shrine. Hey, Iris. What do you think of when you see two lanterns pushed together? Huh? I mean, it kind of looks like something, right? Uh, not really. No, no, really. Picture two lanterns pushed together, and you put the face between them. I guess so. Is there something that reminds you of? Lanterns. Just leave her alone. Well, I, boobs. I wasn't going to say it, but okay, Momo. Damn it, Momo. You're not supposed to say it. Oh, we had to be horny at some point. Oh, the place with the dragon. Okay. I forgot they had dragons here. Window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many cows did they kill for this? So none. That would be none. Poor thing. I I know why we brought Iris over here, but what you did to that tiger is awful. We could have gone on a date before That's this. Fake. Mama, I don't know if I believe you. Restaurants will take forever to fulfill your bottomless drink orders, so order them all up front. You know? What a philosophy. Permits, permits. Oh wait, what is this? I forget how old Iris is. It's an ashtray. I know, like, with her streaming thing, she said she was 18, but I think she's a little bit older than that. Unless I'm not remembering. Okay, let's, let's see what we got over here to look at. Entrance, partition. Hey, Tessa, let's have a party. Mama, shut it. 
shut it so you got to see Tessa right here Is this not a party? We we told Iris this this was a nice place. Fun. Okay, we haven't seen anything. Go to the next room. We got another dragon. Chair. A PC on top of a desk. Yeah. Tessa, if you're tired, you can sit on my desk. Okay, stop on being a creep. Desk. Okay. Oh, keyboard. And watch it be one time we forget to interact with something, and it's gonna be. Great dialogue. Okay, Momo. Where are you? Yeah, where are they? They're out. Congrats to them. Looking for Renju. Oh, okay, Besides, nice. Besides, I can't have them here seeing me like this. Oh, being a fangirl? Why do you care? I can't see his ring. Can I have it? Oh, that one? What? Can I have the ring? Why would I give it to you? That's a fair point. Hey, can I have the ring? Absolutely, of course you can. Here, take it. What a simp. What a simp, Moma. Wait, 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 wait. No. I, I can't give you this. You're oh. so cheap. It's not like you're losing it. Ooh. It's exactly like I'm losing it. <laughs> Aww. You guys are a good team. Like siblings. Okay, don't say that. Why do you say it like that? You said on the phone that you saw Renju. I don't think he saw... Yeah, exactly. Being a big simp. Uh, I don't think he said that he saw him. He got tips yeah, of him. I had all my people looking for him. So, tell me where he is. I could... We held up our side hey, of the deal. I held up my end. I brought Iris like you asked. <gasps> we just gave her, her her government name. Dante, come here. Don't ask to take her on a date. Can you ask Tessa if I can shake her hand, please? Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Sure. I thought it was gonna be worse than that. Iris, could you do me a favor? It's so creepy to shake hands? He, uh, wants to see your boobs. No, oh, my. Fuck, dude! I didn't say that! Yeah. Oh, sorry. What I meant was, he wants to shake your hand. That's what he was thinking, though. Oh, a handshake. Sure. I also realized that I don't have my bracelet on. I got it now. I would never show my why did she have to like whisper that? Okay. What's gonna go on it? Moma, don't be a weirdo. Dante, this is the happiest day of my life. Okay. It feels good to be the boss. So how about it? Alright, here it goes. Renju was seen in two places. Two places. Okay, he wasn't creepy about it. He just shook her hand. I respect that. First, Sunfish Pocket, the maid cafe. Okay. Second, Ikume Shrine. We haven't been there. Sunfish Pocket and Ikume Shrine. Got it. Thanks. 
But I feel like he wouldn't be at either of those now. No problem, bro. Really. Okay, what do we have? Oh, we didn't even introduce Momo. About Renju. What happened to Mr. Opira? I heard he escaped the hospital. He did, and he uh, is an accomplice. So did I. But I don't know anything more than that. Please tell me. Three things stuck out to me. Yes, the message from his phone. Oh, this isn't all about Renju. Hold up. What were you saying about Tessa's dead body? Yeah, we probably shouldn't have had this conversation oh, here. Well. Dante saw a parallel world with my dead body in it. A parallel world? Yeah, Iris, can we keep that to ourselves? He doesn't want to sound dumb. Yeah, yeah, right. Parallel worlds and all that <laughs> shit. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I suppose he does. I don't think he does. <laughs> but why would Mr. Opira do that? Because he's a shady man. I don't know. He could be a hostage or an accomplice. Mm. Either a shady man. I guess we apologize. We haven't. It's okay. We should have probably done her dialogue first. You don't have to be scared, Tessa. We're not thugs. We're just a gang. Very slight difference. You know. The old boss was really violent. But you're not. He would take a cheese grater to someone's leg if they looked at him funny. But. After I took over, we went crystal clean. Crystal? Methamphetamines. Oh, my. No, we don't do drugs. We don't deal with that stuff. Mm-hmm. We had to restructure the whole operation. Cut a lot of people off. Huh? Their throats. No! Not like that! You're not making it any better, Mama. Begin. Oh, let's introduce now. Oh, yeah. I haven't introduced this old man yet. I'm 24. <gasps> He's 24. Mama is lying. He is oh, he's at least 48. Absolutely. Sorry for not introducing myself. Oh, I guess I'm not 30 either. My name is Moma Kumakura. I work for a prestigious advertising agency. Dude, you can tell her the truth. It's fine. Gang, right? You're like a mob boss. How did you know that? Look around you. Look at the office that you're at, sir. Is he stupid? What else do we have? Moma may not look it, but he's a huge ASAP fan. Well, I mean... Yes, you are. Gambling. Bet, debt, ASAP. Worries. Like she's excited. You're gonna know who he is. He's yeah. He's just a mob boss. I think we met him two streams ago. Uh, forget Brett ASAP. Now what does she say? ASAP, you bet. Okay, look at look at that look at the smile on his wow, face. My catchphrase. Thank you. <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. The fact that she can have people just do those phrases, her catchphrases, right? That's like mind like mind mind washing, brainwashing. I think that's just like the same thing. Like. Mama, I don't like gangsters. She likes detectives. <gasps> I don't 
like gangsters either. Gangsters are awful. <laughs> All those nasty Yakuza guys should drop dead, am I right? <laughs> Mama, stop trying to stop trying to impress her. Why are you like this? Alright, summarize for anyway. me. We've got two more locations to check. Oh my, that's not the right thing. Mama, take care of Iris for me. <gasps> no, 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 no. What? What? Wait! You're leaving me here? Why don't we take her with us? You'll be safe with him. <laughs> I don't know if anybody was safe with him. <laughs> that was creepy. Are you serious? Look at his face! Not to mention he runs a crime syndicate. What if he sells me to the highest bidder? Tessa, I would never do that. I, told I don't. You, we're clean now. We all go home on time. We follow government <laughs> regulations. I. See ya. Wait. What about Shovel Forge? I told you I never promised to play with you. Come on, just take a night off, play some Shovel Forge. But you promised me a date. D Dante, is this true? You son of a bitch. Were you planning on asking her on a date? Oh my, we're about to get shot over a goat right now. Right? Take me with you. If you do, I'll tell you about last night. What are you trying to think? About last night. When she got taken away at 2 a.m., right? Yes. Mm. Fine. Yay! Dante, don't ignore me. I will. A clean gang? Catch you later, Mama. See ya. Oh, that's just a toy. Oh, just a toy. <laughs> You're blowing it. <laughs> Let's leave them alone for a while. We have two places to check. Sunfish Pocket, Kume Shrine. I want to go to the warehouse too, where you found my dead body. And the fact that she's just like so casual about it, like, yeah, you found my dead body there. I want to go. No, I'm just curious. Oh, and one more thing. Can we eat somewhere? Food sounds good. I haven't eaten in a while. <gasps> oh, my chest hurts. Getting hard to breathe. Then sit down. Sit down, sir. And go. Let's go get food. Let's go to the diner. This can count as the date. And then all is fine. All is fine. Looks like nighttime. Ah, I'm so hungry. Daytime. Tessa? Oh my god, I forgot. She got another Why simp here? over here. To eat! I told Dante I was hungry, so wanted to eat here oh oh this is this is where his 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 family works okay yes right away we have been here then but this is just another random diner okay oh Meow. Huh? What are you doing? Meowing. You don't know? It's good luck to imitate a cat for a living. Oh. Really? Meow? Guess I'll have good luck. Okay. Nice. Hey, Date. I've got this video of girls in bikinis washing this armored car. You want to watch? Do you think, you think Iris would enjoy that? Absolutely. Find some that we can all watch. Date, you're drooling. Oh, I'm just really hungry. 
Maybe he wants beer. Maybe. Kuroda Kazuaki's grilled tongue with salt. Hmm. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. Mayumi's juice with mold. No, thank you. Beer cases, okay. Nothing. Oh, chair. That's, the immersion. That's just a stool. But it's a it's it's a round chair. Hmm. Oh, that's Hayashi Samba's Hayashi Bambole. Who? Some celebrity. I'm still just like. Oh. Hey, Tessa, could you kick that bucket there? Why? Uh, sure. Like this? Yeah, but more. Like this? <laughs> See about bucket also... kink? I did not realize there was someone more perverted than Gato. Is the bucket still there? Which way did she kick it? Oh, it doesn't matter. She just placed it back. I was like, if she kicked it this way. He was looking at her butt, and if he, if she kicked it this way, he was looking at her boobs. Um, but the world may never know. The world will never know. Hmm. Uh, well, we can't check out anything in the, oh, yeah, nothing in the kitchen we can check out. Ring ring. Who's on the phone? Who cares? Okay, maybe it was a joke. Is this how you were on a date? Swing doors. Date, you wanna have a pillow fight? Uh, Tessa, not in the store, please. So outside the store. Let's go. There's a Oh, there's no one. There's nobody else here. Who would it disturb? We'll stop if people get here. It's November. Calendar says January. They just don't like changing the calendar then. Another lucky cat. We got more posters. I think that's about it. Slippers. Oh. A kids Mom, seat. For baby goats. Why would anyone bring a goat to a restaurant? To feed it. Okay, are we gonna treat this like a date? What's your usual? Omelet rice. What did we order? Oh, does omelet rice is so good it gives me stomach cramps. I don't know if that means it's good or not. Right? Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Well, Ota appears to have taken it as a compliment. If something gave me stomach cramps, I would not. Yeah, I have. Have you met Ota's mother, Mayumi? Yeah, but I don't think she likes me. She doesn't like her because she works at Lemonsgate. That's not true. And Oda's always there. Mom is just jealous of how pretty you are, Tessa. Oh my. Not very reassuring. Yeah, I. Out of jealousy or otherwise, she still doesn't like Iris. Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what. Iris, about your coming back to life. Uh huh. Hold it. What do you mean coming back to life? We're on a date, sir. Uh, Don't overhear things. Oh, well, we do tell Oda about it, I guess. Date jumped into a parallel world where I'm still alive. Mm-hmm. Tessa died? Yep. 
She has no... Why? She just... So okay with it, I guess. I would have questions like crazy. Uh, where's your mom? She's in the living room. I think she's watching TV. Hmm. How about you? What are you doing here? Working. I was just doing some meditation. Lying on the ground. Kimmy's sleeping. Date, why are you with Tessa? You guys are on a date. <laughs> we are. Not Shovel Forge. On a date. Yes! Oh, a date. Huh. A date! Sorry, sir. I'm on an investigation, and she wouldn't let me go. So it's a date. Date, I have some delicious fuku eggs. I promise they're not poisoned. Would you like some? Sir, if you poisoned me and Iris found out, you would not have... I, I would like to think you would not have a chance with her. I'm fine. You're good at cooking. Yeah, my dad taught me when I was little. You're making me something too, right? Sure, my treat, Date. All right. You're still looking for him? He. Well, like I told you before. Yeah, I was like I he know. didn't know. Oh, about the parallel world. Okay. Hey, can you tell me about this parallel world idea in more detail? What a conversation for oh, a date. Sure. How should I explain this? Yeah, I would not trust him. I may be hungry. But I would not would not trust that man to cook me food. Well, hmm. Parallel universe. Oh, I know. Let's play rock paper scissors. Don't have this be about shovel forge rock, again. Rock paper scissors. Yeah, if we tie, nothing happens. We just shake hands. If I win, you have to give me something. What if I win? I'll do anything. A anything? Okay, can we go back to how is this answering the parallel universe? Mm -hmm. Anything. Why is she doing her hands like that? Dante, your heart rate is rapidly increasing. Stop it. That was Why weird. Exactly is that? I have a We don't need oh, to talk I, about let's it. Let's do this. Oh my god. We're gonna lose. What should I throw out? Um, scissors, cause I'm, I'm, cause I'm, cause I'm gay. Yay! I won. We lost. Well, no, 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 no. You see, this, this looks like scissors, but it's actually paper. That doesn't make any sense. No. Why did I throw out scissors? Why? Because I'm gay. Okay, Iris. I don't have any money. I don't want money. She wants to play Shovel Forge. Said, yeah. Can you pet my head and say Iris is a cutie cutie? Right here, before we eat dinner. The cutest person in the whole wide world, a cutie angel. <laughs> the half to voice is over. No, no, no. Put your heart into it. <laughs> Great quotes. Great quotes. Great quotes. Iris is a cutie cutie. The cutest person in the whole wide world. A cutie angel. <laughs> what is the point of this, Iris? We just played rock, paper, scissors, right? I won and you pet me. But in a different timeline, maybe we tied. Or maybe I obeyed your orders and did something really scandalous. Rewind time, do it now! 
Dante, we don't have that power. Okay. I jumped from a world in which you were dead to this one where you're alive. That's what I think. Huh. Parallel world, huh? But then how did we do that? After sinking? Sure you can. Parallel worlds exist. Do you know about the Mandela effect? Or the Booba Kiki effect? I know about the first one. Or the 100 million balls. If I explain that, would you believe me? What? Sounds really interesting, Tessa. I would have shut up. You're not on the state. I know some urban legends like that. The spatial temporal man, and the lost friend, and the story of two sisters. This is a great first date conversation. I'm interested. Tell me about these urban legends. Do you know Nelson Mandela? Well, yeah. Oh, you're not in this. Go. The former president of South Africa. He helped abolish apartheid. He died in 2013, but a strange thing happened. When the news broke, people all over the world thought, didn't Mandela die in prison in 1980? That's the Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. It's when your memory and history have discrepancies. Okay. Oh, there's more. There are lots of examples. Like the name of this kid's book with the bears having different spellings. Yes. Or people remembering that Kennedy was assassinated in a four-seat car. <sighs> was he a president? But in our world, he was in a six-seat car. Huh. I thought it was a four-seater, too. Or that electric mouse from that video game. You probably remember the tip of its tail being black. They're talking about Pokemon! It wasn't? Nope, it's all yellow. And Let's the go. Sign didn't change. Oh. Lines from movies, company logos. Yep, events, lots of things. I think Fruit Loops is one of them. Um, something from the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney. Star Wars, I think, has one. The Mandela effect is everywhere. Why do you think that is? those memories are from parallel worlds you remember the black tip Pikachu really I honestly don't pay attention I'm that would explain it I guess so then in that case would it be with parallel worlds is the thing that swapped the item how would we have gone to different Parallel worlds. All right. Dante, look at this picture. Splatoon. There's a famous experiment regarding this picture. You show this image to people around the world and ask a question: Which one is Booba and which one is Kiki? Believe it or not, 98% of people asked have the same answer. Okay. The rounder one is Booba. And the jagged one is Kiki. Isn't Math checks weird? out. In other words, everyone thinks that Booba is a certain way, and Kiki is the other. It applies universally across languages and cultures. It's like something ingrained inside all humans. Hmm. Alternate use overlaps, so the memories get jumbled. <gasps> Maybe? Maybe when we fall asleep, that's where we start our like parallel world, and then they'll like flip flop or like an alternate you throws memories in your brain when you're sleeping. Hence, why the dreams are so weird. Anyway, Iris, what else do we have here? Like worshiping the sun and the sea, or thinking that the mother is soft and the father is jagged. Regardless of your culture or background, you probably think this way. It's what Jung called the collective unconscious. Hmm. There exists a second psychic system of a collective universal and impersonal nature, which is identical in all individuals. That's what Jung said about it. I 
think of it like bamboo. Okay. Bamboo stalks look like individual plants since they're separated. But underground, they're all connected. Human psyches might be like that too. Connected at a subconscious level. That's the parallel world. The roots? Yeah. You saved me in the dream, right? And dreams are all about our subconscious minds. So if you follow the roots, you get to another bamboo stalk. Oh, exactly like the dreams. One of the one of the other games is about this. Oh, like the parallel universes. Yeah, something like that. Honestly, psychology classes. I t I took a few in college. Literally felt like I was learning the same thing every single time. Oh, how we all have a psychic link. Oh, okay. This world is full of really interesting stuff, but you know the most interesting thing of all? Dreams. You know what? That humans exist at all. Okay. The universe developed in a very particular way to get here. If things were even slightly different, well, the galaxies and solar system and all of that might not have existed at all. And that means humans would never be born. And even if everything happened exactly like that, the probability of human life developing is extremely low. And yet, here we are. Okay, but how does that the 100 million balls? Imagine a box full of ping pong balls, labeled 1 to 100 Oh, okay. Million. Would you be able to pick out the one? <laughs> no. Not likely. But what if there were 100 million of you? Well, then one of us would definitely pick up the one. Exactly! The birth of humanity is so improbable that it's basically a miracle. But if there were multiple universes... Oh, then it's very likely. It's strange that at least one of them had humans in it. Mm. She's describing the anthropic principle. I may have underestimated her intelligence. See? Oh, does Oda still have some stuff for us? Oh, oh, we get we get his lore here? We on a, I don't wanna say double date, are we on a date with both of them? Okay, um, Spatial Temporal Man. Yeah, it's sort of like a common experience. Silhouette in the dark. People have experienced waking up in an uninhabited world they've never seen before. And most of them describe seeing the same person. Oh. The Spatial Temporal Man. He's supposed to be an ordinary old man wearing work clothes. Uh-huh. Spatial temporal man guides people back to the real world. A multi-date. He tells them, this world is not for you, or something. I'd like to meet him someday. No, Iris, I... let's not. What about the others? So, this elementary school kid, let's call him C. He goes to school and there's a bunch of things on the floor. Uh huh. Those cards, towels, a coffee cup, rice bowls, a sink, lots of stuff. But C realized that those were all things from his own house. How did they get to the classroom? A dream. No one knows. It's not like anyone did it on purpose or there's a thief or anything. Maybe something happened that made two parallel worlds fuse. This is a lot for my brain to handle on a Thursday. Yeah, maybe. All this stuff is talked about it. Oh, all of these different stories? The Lost There's Friend. A. He's in elementary school. Oh, so we're gonna talk about A and then probably B and then we already talked about C. Well, mm -hmm. A had this close friend named Suzuki. One day after school, they're walking home together. Okay. Penny turns around to tell Suzuki a joke. And she's not there? And Suzuki is laughing his butt off. Oh, he's not there? And he's laughing and laughing. And he laughs so hard that his eyes fall out of their sockets. What? Well, they were hanging down out of his eye sockets. I I believe Iris's stories. Oh, this is a little They're pretty far fetched over there. Yes, we're still connected, but a is of course in shock and doesn't know what to do. I'll be in shock too. You see two eyeballs dangling with from the nerves and the eye sockets. It's like uh, what do you call that? 
where you have the paddle ball and it's just like the I don't know what it's called. Just takes his eyeballs and jams them back into his eye sockets and keeps walking like nothing happened. Oh, that would probably get infected. So A asks him about it. Like, hey, are you okay? Your eyes fell out. <laughs> are you okay? Enjoy the lurk, Vaughn. I appreciate it. Hello, hello. A is really concerned for his friend, you know? I would be too! But Suzuki just says, yeah, I'm fine. He doesn't say anything about it. And by now, A is really curious, but he's not getting any answers, so they just part ways and go home. Then he never sees him again. The story only gets weirder from here. It's kept hard enough before to cause his eye to pop out. No, thank you. The next day, A goes to school, and Suzuki's not there. Okay. A is confused and asks his teacher about it. And he never existed. Hey, where's Suzuki today? And the teacher says... Suzuki? Who's that? There's no Suzuki in this class. Ooh. A says, what are you talking about? And he goes and asks all of his classmates about and Suzuki. And no one knows him. They all say the same thing. They're all gaslighting him. I don't know him. There's no Suzuki in this class. So that kid must have jumped into a parallel world without Suzuki. That's what I think. Oh, there's more. Couldn't Suzuki just be an imaginary friend or something? No. A was really serious about remembering Suzuki. It is weird. Mm. There's no way you can pop your eyeballs back in like that. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Could be imaginary there's friend. There's such a thing as a dislocated eye. And it actually isn't too hard to put your eye back in if it falls out. I don't think it would fall out. As long as none of the nerves or blood vessels were damaged, there are usually no lasting negative effects either. But that doesn't prove this Suzuki exists. Well, I guess not, but... Alright, look. The two sisters. What so is this one? this girl? Let's call her B. She's practicing piano in her room. And her mm -hmm. little sister is watching TV in the same room. Pressing the piano, watching TV. He asks her to turn the TV volume down so she can hear her piano playing, you know? Fair enough. So B goes back to practicing, playing a little bit. But her sister doesn't turn the volume down. As siblings do. She's not listening at all. So B turns around to scold her. She was really gonna let her sister have it. But she wasn't there? But she's gone. She's nowhere to be seen. She thinks, huh, I wonder where she went. Uh-huh. But then, B hears her sister at the door. I'm home. B runs to the front door and sees her sister and her parents standing there. So B asks, when did you go outside? But her mom says, what are you talking about? She went shopping with me. B is really confused by all of this, of course. Or it could be a ghost. She asks her little sister about it. And she learns that her favorite TV show was on. And before she went shopping with her mom, she was deciding whether or not she wanted to stay and watch it or not. So depending on her decision, a parallel world was made. Yeah. And her sister lived in both of them? And what B saw might have been from the world where her sister stayed behind. Okay, that shit's crazy. He was able to pop it back in. I mean, I know if you, like, dislocate your shoulder or whatever, you can, like, you could pop it back in. It makes sense. With an eye? Like, I feel like that would be very, very, I, th I feel like it'd be a lot tougher. Anything else? I know a ton of stories like this. Okay. Like being suddenly transported one year into the future, and there's a missing persons report out for you. You look down at your phone, but you realize that it's not yours. It's not the one you remember having. You look through the contacts, and it's filled with names you don't recognize. It sounds scary. There's more, too. Like this town where everyone is Japanese, mm -hmm. but they're speaking a completely different language. And all the signs and magazines and stuff have different letters. 
And it's not like Korea or China. It's the Japan we know, but the language is different. That's a prime example of a parallel world. Oh, shit. This shit's crazy. I just feel little to no pain. Really? So then it would be like, you would feel the pressure, obviously, in your eye socket. So does your eye not have any nerves and it's just like a nerve cord? Like all the nerves are in the cord? You, there has to be some nerves in your eye. I guess not a whole lot. Like you know how you can poke your eyeball and just feel the pressure? Yeah. Like it doesn't hurt, but if I do that on like my arm, that doesn't hurt either. Or summarize for me. When did you two get so numb? They <laughs> read a bunch of always writing about this stuff on the internet. Oh, she has a blog too? That's why I decided to research it too. That's how I learned all this stuff. Oh, hey, I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. If you want, we could talk about those. Maybe next time. <laughs> Maybe next day. Done. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, Iris Iris was also way better at explaining. Odo was just like, here, I'm gonna say whatever knowledge I know to have some point in the conversation. He didn't need to. He didn't need to. She tried to pick up a spoonful. What's going on? Tessa, are you okay? I'm fine. What happened? My hand slipped. Let's eat. We didn't talk at all. Iris, that was weird. We gonna we gonna we gonna talk about that. That was good. Oh, take your omelet rice is seriously the best. Yeah, it was actually really good. Oh, thanks. I owe it to my dad. He taught me well. Stood to go. Let's get going, Iris. Thanks again. Thank you. Come back soon. <laughs>